Turning to an incredible story out of Poland, a family killed by the Nazis for hiding Jews during the war will be beatified next month. Pope Francis recognized the martyrdom of Joseph and Victoria Olma and their children, including an unborn baby in a decree signed in December. National correspondent for the tablet and Crocs, John Lavenberg, joins me now with more. Hi, John. Hi, Christine. So, John, this is such a tragic story and one that's not very well known in America. Set the scene for us. It's 1942. The war is raging and the Olma family is living in a small Polish village, right? Exactly right. So they're in a small southeastern Polish village, and as the war is going on, they take in eight people, eight members of a family, um, eight Jewish people to take them in and shelter them from, from the war. And this goes on for a year and a half. They protect them, they keep them in their home um, until Germans find out they're there. And then the eight Jewish people they're sheltering, as well as the Alma family, were all killed. Oh, so horrible. So the entire family will be beatified next month, including the unborn child. So has a family or an unborn baby ever been beatified before? That hasn't happened, so it will be the first time that a specific family will be beatified as well as an unborn child. So all seven members of the Oma family will get that distinction, and it's something, you know, Pope Francis has spoken about exactly how important this family is and what example they set for the faith. He said that they're an example of remaining faithful to God and his commandments, brotherly love, and respect for human dignity. So that's just a piece of how highly Pope Francis thinks of them. Right, and Pope Francis signed the martyrdom decree last year. So what's next after beatification? So after beatification, they still need to get a church-recognized miracle mm -hmm. to take that next step to become canonized saints. So that's what um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. All right, and we certainly will. John Lavenberg, National Correspondent for the Tablet and Crux, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Christine. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.